We now assess that there are some 10,000 North Korean soldiers in total in Russia. As many as 8,000 of those North Korean forces have been deployed to the Kursk region. We've not yet seen these troops deploy into combat against Ukrainian forces, but we would expect that to happen in the coming days. Should these troops engage in combat or combat support operations against Ukraine, they would become legitimate military targets. China should do more to curb the DPRK's provocative actions and to stop support for Russia's defense industrial base, which is helping to perpetuate the conflict and the aggression by Russia and Ukraine. Together, we're advancing a shared economic vision for the Indo-Pacific and actually for the world. We are joined together in building a better, more secure, more prosperous future for all of our people.